Hello everyone! In this presentation, I will show you how the Universal XLS Import Update Tool can help you to export data from Maximo to Excel. This is Lesson 4. In Lesson 1, I gave you a short introduction to our tool. In Lesson 2, we learned how to define which users are authorized to use the tool. In Lesson 3, we learned how to do batch updates. There are a multitude of reasons to export data from Maximo to Excel. Here are some examples. To compile individual lists or analysis, to transfer data to other systems or to make them available for other departments or companies, or to edit and complete selected data in Excel. You can take advantage of the wide distribution of Excel and its brilliant functions in the area of data management. I prepared a small case study to show you how the Universal XLS Import Update Tool can help you to export data from Maximo to Excel. Let's assume that the technical components at a specific location in our company, the location BR, have been reconditioned. Some components have been changed, some additional components have been integrated. The respective data in Maximo from the location BR have to be checked, corrected, and completed. The company which performed the modifications has no access to Maximo and the technicians prefer to work with Excel. Let's do the job in Maximo. In the start center of Maximo, we go to the module Assets and then to the application Assets. We use the location filter to search for the location BR. As you can see, 14 data sets are affected. Maximo has an integrated option for downloads. We first want to use the standard function to export the selected data to Excel. Here's the result. The standard export is limited to the shown columns and does not include the rest of the data. Moreover, the export did not recognize date formats. If we, for example, check the format of the date in the cell, we can see that it has no date format. It has the standard format. Similarly, the prices in this column cannot be added up. Excel cannot add the prices because they were exported as text and not as numbers. The formats here are just like they were in Maximo. In this case, the American format with the point as a decimal separator and the date format for Maximo. The standard export did not recognize the local client settings. Let's check the local settings. The current date format is different. As you can see here, the decimal separator should be a comma instead of a point. As a result, you have to revise and adjust the data before you can work with the data on your client PC. We close Excel and return to Maximo. Now we will use our tool, the Universal XLS Import Update Tool, to export the data from Maximo to Excel. The selection remains the same. We go to the EAM Power Pack and then to the menu item Result Set Download. We confirm this dialog box with OK and we can see the result. Let's have a look at the different headlines. The first row contains the field titles. The second row contains the attribute names of the objects. The third row serves as an example. If you use this file for pre-imports, Maximo will ignore this example row. The actual data area begins in row 4. When we scroll right, we can see that all data have been exported. The asset object has a lot of attribute columns. Here, for example, is a date. Its format matches the local settings. We can check this by looking at the format of the cell. We scroll back to the first columns. When we try to add up the purchase prices in this column here, Excel recognizes that the cells contain numbers and adds them up immediately. Let's have a look at the different colors here. The third tab here at the bottom contains a color legend. The orange color indicates the primary keys in this object. This becomes important when you want to re-import your data. Then you must have the key column in your Excel sheet. Blue indicates required fields, which is important as well. Bright green indicates the unique ID. 
Gray indicates non-persistent fields, which means that they only exist virtually. White is used for ordinary fields. The second tab contains the complete data dictionary with all definitions. The asset num, for example, is defined as upper. As you can see, all data have been correctly exported. We can now, for example, start to delete or hide all unnecessary columns. In this way, you can make a list of all required data fast and efficiently. In the following lesson, lesson 5, I will show you how to edit, correct and complete data in Excel and re-import them back to Maximo. The tool is ready for delivery. Power users and system administrators who use the tool are enthusiastic and do not want to miss this powerful tool anymore. The tool is certified by IBM as Ready for Tivoli. Please check out the other videos where you will find more detailed information about the tool's features. If you need more information, please visit our website on eam-software.de or send us an email. We look forward to hearing from you.